welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Country Mile. I'm Brent Bates, and Drew's missing, but I got a hat there in absentia for him. <laughs> Anyways, having to take care of some family stuff, so he's going to be gone for a day or two. Let's go ahead and get started with the market, because guess what, folks? Bitcoin is over 13000 and here you can see it's breaking up to the upper end of that trend line. you got to love it. And, you know, the interesting thing is we were talking just yesterday about how that 10% of Bitcoin supply has been untouched for 10 years. Just a few days before that here on the Country Mile, we were talking to you about how that there were more and more people with 100 Bitcoin, um, more and more wallets with that level of it in there. And, and so basically everybody's kind of hanging on to their Bitcoin and subsequently if they hang on to it, the lack of supply on the sell side means that anybody that wants to buy some is going to have to raise the price. So anyway, we got Bitcoin up 2.16 to 2.3, depending on the exchange. Overall, crypto is up 3%. So that's great. What that means is, is a lot of your altcoins are doing real well today because not only are they up to 2% with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is 60% of the market, for them to be up another percent, uh, they actually have to be up more in the 4 to 5% range to get that average. Well, let's go look at the Dow. As I told you before, the Dow is trying to reach that previous high that it had earlier in the year here in 2020. Doesn't seem like it's making it. It's kind of running out of gas. And there's a lot of folks, including Bull Pony and him myself, that kind of takes this chart and kind of wonders if the, if the Dow's not kind of rolling over and has some downside left with it. Then let's go over the S&P. S&P did creep above its previous high. This is a five-year chart. But there again, it hasn't gone through convincingly. But I'll tell you what has gone pretty convincingly, and that's the NASDAQ, which happens to be down 40-some-odd uh, points right now, 48. And you notice that it broke its new high earlier in the year, but it's a very heavily tech-laden uh, process. And so therefore, if you get a little lack of confidence, um, and, you know, a lot of people like to buy the rumor and sell the news. It's going to be real interesting here in a couple of weeks when we have our election, exactly what uh, all that does for the overall markets. So now let's go and look at gold. And gold has got a nice staggering uptrend and it's done a little consolidation here as of late, but totally expected given the kind of rise that it had in the first half of the year. And then you got silver. And silver is always outpacing gold in the up and in the down. The only difference is, is that you can see it's had a nice spike up. It's going to consolidate there, and I'm sure that it's going to move higher from there. Then my other favorite is the West Texas Oral, Oral as I call it, $40.62. It's up 1.5%. And you go out to that far out future, and notice that the future is now up at 13 820 when the market's at $13,100. So only a $700 difference. It's been running about $1,000. So, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's probably wanting to see if these Bitcoin rise is going to be digested. Because, you know, we've been up bing, bing, bing. And, and like I said, you know, yesterday some of the news headlines made me sit there and say, hey, look, you know, we're going to have a, a, a less supply, which means that any demand that comes down the pike is going to run that price up. Uh, Jason Mayer is giving me a belated happy birthday. That's why I'm in the pink today, Jason, because uh, uh, I appreciate that. And let's see, let me get over here on my phone. And the other thing I want to do is, if I can get this thing to do it for me, is come over here. And here you can see what some of the altcoins are doing. You know, Ethereum's up 6% today, XRP 3.56. Bitcoin Cash up almost five, Chainlink up 11. So when I tell you the altcoins are running, they really are running. One of the things I love to do, especially if I've been away for a little while, is just come in and just look at the news headlines because it kind of gives you an overall feeling of what the market is doing out there. And so, you know, here you are, Stellar Lumens Cosmos Nano Price Analysis. Uh, Crypto firms have granted millions to Bitcoin developers. PayPal's move is good for crypto. A lot of people think that this big move right here is the news that Drew and I told you about on the, on the uh, Country Mile yesterday, is the fact that PayPal is now going to let people start uh, dealing in crypto right through their PayPal app. So guess what? You now have all these people that are going to 
buy smaller amounts, but they're going to be hitting the buy. And guess what? There's not enough supply over the top of it that's the sell because we've got a lot of people holding, all right? 10% of the supply has been untouched for 10 years. You think of all of your friends that describe themselves as a hodler. Well, you know, what they're doing is they're soaking up the supply and it's a whole supply and demand. Anybody that's been taught any kind of economics knows that as demand increases and if supply remains constant, the only way price has to go is to the north side. All right, <clears throat> and then let's, let's look at some, uh, some good news. The good news is the elections are almost here. They're going to put us out of our misery. I mean, when you get right down to it, uh, my gosh, uh, they're driving me crazy. I'm sure they're driving you crazy. This week, you'll get, me to, you'll get to hear me on the Wild West Crypto Show do a little bit of I told you so uh, from the fence post. Uh, talking about coronavirus and, and all the craziness that this world has. But the other good thing is, I don't know about where you all are, but where I am, the weather's beautiful, the sun is shining, it's a brand new day, the good Lord's in control, and I got a beautiful wife and I got wonderful daughters, and all in all, it's not a bad world, and it's especially not a bad world to be living in America, even with some of my fellow kooks that are out there. So. Uh, remember, Carnomaly brought you this broadcast today. Carnomaly, we're going to put your car on the blockchain, revolutionizing how cars are bought and sold and how records are maintained. We'll see you next week. Uh, not next week, I'm sorry. We'll see you tomorrow on the Country Mile. Have a great day.